Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam. The span of the beam is given as 8 meter. There is a point load 24 kN. It acts at a distance of 5 meter from the left support. Left side for 5 meter. The moment of inertia is 2i. And for the remaining distance 3 meter, the moment of inertia is I. Now we are going to find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and moments are 4. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 4 minus 2. We will get 2 from the support B. Let us release MB and RB so that the point B becomes a free end. In these two equations, to find the displacements, we are going to use unit load method. In the unit load method, first we have to find the moment M. For that, we have to make sections. In this beam, there are two different parts, BC and CA. So, we have to make two sections, one in BC and one in CA. You can see that I have made two sections. I have made both of the sections at a distance of x from the point B. Now, let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. Here, there are two members, BC and CA. Let us enter them. For both of the sections, the origin is B. For BC, the moment of inertia is I. So, the flexural rigidity will be EI. For CA, the moment of inertia is 2I. So, the flexural rigidity will be 2EI. For BC, the limit is 0 to 3. And for CA, it is 3 to 8. Now we are going to find the moment M. We have to find the moments from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find M in BC. In BC, up to the section, there is no load. So the moment will be 0. Now let us find the moment in CA. Up to the section, there is only one load, that is the point load 24. It is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. For this load, we have to take this distance. This distance is x minus 3. So, minus 24 into x minus 3. Now, we are going to find the moment m1. For that, in the direction of rb, we have to apply unit load. Let us find M1 in BC and CA. Up to both of the sections, we have only the unit load. About both of the sections, it is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is x. 1 into x, we will get x. Now we are going to find the moment M2. For that, in the direction of MB, we have to apply unit movement. Let us assume that MB is acting in the clockwise direction. So that we have to apply the unit movement in the clockwise direction. Let us find M2 in BC and CA. Up to both of the sections, there is no load. Only we have the unit movement. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Now let us find delta 1L. The formula is integration of m m1 upon ei dx. For bc, the value of m is 0. So no need to make the integration. We can directly apply 0. For ca, the limit is 3 to 8. And the flexural rigidity is 2 ei. So instead of ei, we have to apply 2 EI. Let us apply the values of M and M1. 
now we can take a calculator and do this integration after integrating we will get minus 950 upon ei now let us find delta 2l the formula is integration of m m2 upon ei dx let us apply the values of m and m2 for delta 2l we will get 150 upon ei now let us find delta 11 the formula is integration of m1 square upon ei dx for bc the limit is 0 to 3 for bc and ca the value of m1 is x let us apply that finally for delta 11 we will get 539 upon 6 ei now let us find delta 12 and delta 21 both of them having the same formula integration of m1 m2 upon ei dx x into minus 1 we will get minus x for delta 12 and delta 21 we will get minus 18.25 upon ei now let us find delta 22 the formula is integration of m2 square upon ei dx using the formula we will get 5.5 upon ei in these two equations we have found all of the displacements we can apply them so that we will get these two equations now we can solve these two equations so that we will get rb and mp by applying the rule sigma v is equal to 0 we can find ra now from the point b let us take a moment about a and find ma or b is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8 mb is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative the point load 24 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 5 let us assume that ma is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be positive finally for ma we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct ma is acting in the anti-clockwise direction using the right hand side rule we can find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram now we are going to find the bending moment values in the points a and c in this case we can use right hand side rule let us find the bending moment at A. In the point A, we have MA, which is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Now, let us find the bending moment at C. MA is acting in the anti-clockwise direction, so that it will be negative. Or A is acting in the clockwise direction, so that it will be positive, and the distance is 5. For bending moment at C, we will get 22.357. To find the bending moment at B, we can use the left hand side rule. In the point B, we have MB which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Here you can see the bending moment diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.